Hello friends. Today we're going to make a squash pie mock pumpkin pie. If you don't tell anybody it's squash, they'll never know. That's what the little lady that gave me the recipe says. She got it from her mother, so it's quite old. Okay, so for this recipe you're going to need about four squash, um, about two pounds or a cup and three-fourths of cooked smashed. So however you want to measure that, but this is the way I'm going to do it, four squash. You're going to need nutmeg, vanilla, cinnamon, cloves, and a can of sweetened condensed milk and two eggs. So to get started, I've got two tablespoons of uh, butter in my skillet and we're going to cook our squash. Now I always, if you have followed me for very long, you know I do not have unsalted um, butter in this house. We only do salted. I do not like unsalted butter and I do not use it for anything. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is get rid of the seeds. So you just cut your squash in half and start getting the seeds out. You want to try not to get any of the flesh. Just try to get just the, squat, the seed part. And um, of course you're going to also need a pie crust. Now for my pie crust recipe, I will link it in the comments and in the um, description box with the recipe. So we're going to go ahead and get all of these seeds out, just like that. In the summertime, you always have tons of squash if you have a garden. So you got to get creative in the way that you make it. Okay, okay so we got uh, seeds out of this one. See? And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut it in half again. Just like this. And we're going to slice it. And we're going to put it in our skillet. And we're going to cook it until it's tender. Probably about 8 or 10 minutes. It doesn't take long. So we're going to do that, put it in the skillet. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of these squash just like I just did. Put it in the skillet and we'll be right Okay, we've got all of our squash here in the skillet with our two tablespoons of salted butter. And we're just going to start cooking that. We want to get rid of some of the moisture is what we're trying to do too. So, uh, we don't want to burn it. We don't really want it to brown that much. We just really want it to soften. So, um, we are going to uh, get this all softened. And it's probably going to take about, oh, eight or so minutes is what I'm kind of estimating. And uh, I'll show y'all what it needs to look like. Okay, this is kind of what we want it to look like. It's starting to brown, so I'm going to turn it off. And then we're going to let this cool down. And uh, then we're going to get some paper towels and we're going to get some this moisture off. But we don't want it to cook or brown any, any more than that. This is soft and um, some of it's starting to kind of get translucent. So um, that's good enough. So we're going to turn this off and we're going to let it cool down. So it's cooled down pretty good. And we're just going to take some paper towels and I'm just going to kind of just just smash it down like that just to get excess moisture out. Cooking it without a lid kind of makes the moisture evaporate so it's not really that bad. Just a little bit of water is coming out. Squash is so watery. Okay. That wasn't bad at all. And then we're going to put this squash in our blender. We want it to be cooled off. We don't want it to be popping hot when we did that because we're going to put two eggs in there. and We don't want those eggs to 
get more. So, get all that in there. And then, it's still smoking, look at that. So I'm going to put my milk on first. Our can of uh, sweetened condensed milk. Excuse our vegetables all on the counter. That's just the way it looks here in the summertime. We usually have a ton of tomatoes, but I think we're finally starting to get caught up on those. Okay, so we got our milk in there. And let's kind of move that around so it'll make that milk cool that down a little bit more. Okay. Now. We're going to add our spices, and we're going to have one teaspoon of vanilla, and I'm using real vanilla, and it's always hard to open. You just use what you have. Imitation's fine. I'm going to put one teaspoon in there, and then I just usually just put a little tiny bit more just for good measure, because we like vanilla. And then I'm going to put a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Be careful when you measure your nutmeg because you can overdo it. Just a fourth. Okay. And then a fourth of salt. Will you hand me the salt, Caleb? salted butter so that'd be good okay and then we're gonna do some cloves you gotta be careful with your cloves too and we're just gonna do an eighth and I do not have an eighth so I'm gonna do half of that fourth just a half be careful when you're measuring it okay and then our cinnamon and our cinnamon we're going to use um, Oh, teaspoon. Nah. Got that wet. Let me wipe that off. Vanilla probably won't hurt anything, but we want to make sure. Okay. And then a whole teaspoon of vanilla. Cinnamon. I mean, cinnamon. Yes. Cinnamon and vanilla. All right. And then our two eggs. And these are room temperature eggs. Okay. Now, we're just going to blend this up really good. cook and those eggs are gonna help it to to harden just like if you was making a homemade pumpkin pie. It smells really good. And you can make these up and put them in your freezer for Thanksgiving and then uh, you don't have to that's one less thing you can have to do. You have all of the squash in your garden for uh, the summer. Do something with it. Okay, now we're going to put this in a 350 oven for about close to an hour. Probably start checking it in uh, around 50 minutes just to make sure. You may have halfway through. If your oven is not, if it has hot spots, you might want to turn your pie. But we're going to go ahead and put it. I'm going to use a toaster oven just because here in Texas in the summer it is so hot. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And we're going to cook it at 350 for about 50 minutes. Looking like it's done. So 
we're going to go ahead and get it out and let it start cooling. It's the perfect, see how it don't jiggle much? That's how you know it's done. It smells wonderful. I can't wait to try it. So we're going to let this cool for probably about an hour or so. Or we may just save it for dinner tonight. But um, we'll try it in a little bit. Okay, we're going to give it a little test. Feels firm, just like a pumpkin. I think you're really going to like this. I wish I had some whipped cream, but I don't. See how firm that is? Look at that. Does that look good? Let's try it. Mm, it's delicious. Just like the lady said. You wouldn't know it wasn't a pumpkin pie unless you tell them. Keep that your little secret. Absolutely delicious. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.